I'm Rebecca of Pocketful of Posies. Today's project is part four of my 1890s Jiminy Cricket costume. The jacket. And it's finally done! <laughs> the whole outfit is now complete and I'm so excited to share this last step with you. Here we go! I'm using the Eaton jacket pattern by Truly Victorian. I used all stash fabrics for this and so I cut the pieces using brown corduroy and poly taffeta for the lining. It was the last left over from my fantail skirt and vest. Giant sleeves. I started assembly by pinning the darts. Then I pinned the back to the side pieces, using plenty of pins for those curved seams. I sewed them together using the half inch seam allowance the pattern called for. Next, I started pinning the fronts to the sides. This is when I discovered that although I had cut the front pieces to the bolero length I wanted, I had neglected to do the same for the back and sides. <laughs> I rectified that and pinned the fronts to the sides. Then I pinned the shoulder seams. I sewed the fronts to the sides, and I sewed the shoulder seams. I trimmed and notched the seam allowance. I had to use a seam on the back piece of the lining because I didn't have enough fabric left to cut it on a fold. I attached the lining to the collar right sides together. Then I turned it right side out and pinned it along the neck edge. I continued assembling the lining. Lucius was working very hard too. He was very, very interested in the fuzzy mic cover on top of my camera. <laughs> I ironed the collar next. Then I asked opinions on the Instagram and Facebook about trim and it was unanimous. Always trim. I tacked the trim down, not super securely yet since I wanted to make sure I liked the effect. The 
next step is to attach the collar to the neckline of the jacket, lining side of the collar to the right side of the jacket. I took it to the machine and sewed it together. Sleeves! These sleeves went together easily. They are in two pieces, so I pinned them together matching notches. Thor came in for some pets, and then I repeated the sleeve pinning on the lining. I next sewed the sleeve pieces together, fashion fabric and lining. Okay. I'm just checking to make sure I have <laughs> opposite sleeves. <laughs> Here we go. Yay! <laughs> and let me check the lining. They need to be opposite too. Lucius, what you doing? Mouth to you too. I trimmed the seam allowance on the sleeves. Then I inserted the sleeve into the lining right sides together. I ironed the seams open. I really need a tailor's ham. <laughs> then I pinned them together at the wrists. Next, I sewed the sleeve linings and the sleeves together at the wrists. I pulled the lining to the inside of the sleeves. Then I basted the lining and sleeve together at the top of the sleeves. I ran gathering stitches, but the fabric was too bulky and the thread kept breaking when I tried to gather. So I ran a gathering stitch by hand using a stronger buttonhole thread. I pinned the sleeves into the armholes. And gathered the top of the sleeves to fit, pinning them in place. Next, I sewed the sleeves in. The gathered portions are very thick and I ended up breaking a needle. I couldn't find the needle point so I searched <laughs> and finally found it on the floor, thankfully. <laughs> I 
I replaced the needle and finished up sewing the sleeves in. Then it was time to pin the lining to the jacket right sides together. I sewed them together around the entire jacket except the arm size. The jacket is then pulled right sides out through the arm size and the lining is pinned around the arm size. The instructions just say to sew the lining to the arm size but I also chose to zigzag the raw edges broke another needle in the process, but it neatened up the inside. Then it was complete. I put it on Freya with the vests and some accessories, and I'm really excited about how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy that you spend your time with me. And if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, please do so. And follow me on Instagram. That's at rebecca.pocket.full.of.posies. If you'd like to support the channel any further, I have a coffee account and that is linked below. I'll see you next time on our sewing adventures.